how do you start? You just got to start, man. It's only one person that could be you. Like, why not lean into that uniqueness? The best camera is the one you got. I think a lot of people struggle with being confident on camera. And I think my number one tip, to be honest, that has helped me break through it is to, and I know this, this is about to sound mad cliche, but to stop caring so much. Like everybody is making social media content, so don't feel like if you out here doing this in public with a camera and people are looking at you, that you're doing something awkward, everybody does. And that's just the age we live in, especially if you want to do this and be an online content creator. It's just something you got to adopt and you got to get over it. And I know, again, I know that sounds super basic and practical, but. Every time that, you know, I got in my own head and said, man, these people looking at me or they staring at me. Number one is usually out of curiosity. They want to know what you're doing. You got a camera, are you somebody like, where can I follow you at? And you get some people who like, uh, another D-bag with a camera, but it's really just a matter of, I'm probably never going to see this person again. Most people that are looking at you, you ain't never going to see them again, so why care so much? Be you. And I know, again, that sounds cliche, but I think as content creators and YouTubers and everything, we get in this habit where we feel like I got to look like somebody else. I got to sound like Casey Neistat or Peter McKinnon and all these other people. Everybody brings something to the table. It's only one of you. It's only one person that could be you. So I always felt like, why not lean into that uniqueness? And it's gonna be people that, that like it, it's gonna be people that don't like it, but I don't worry about the people who don't like me and what I do. I just try to focus on the people that, that resonate with me, that like what I do. So that's the next big thing is to be you. And then when it comes to vlogs, I like to mix vlogs in, well, vlogs into my videos because I think when you talk about cameras and stuff, like sometimes it's impersonal. You know, people don't really get a chance to connect with you. So a lot of times I make videos just like day in the life videos. You know what I'm saying? Where people get to come in, they get to kick it with me, they get to kick it with my family. And even though those videos might not get a ton of views, it's always good for the people who watch you because they feel like they know a part of you that they otherwise don't get to see. So one thing that I struggle with a lot, especially when we talk about blogging and having a camera mm -hmm. on ourselves is this little situation mm -hmm. and feeling like I'm talking to a camera, but still having to be aware of my surroundings. So my number six on here is be aware of your surroundings. Okay. That's crazy. That's crazy. You're using my, using my phone, bro. All right, so I, depending on where you live, like I live in Cleveland, it's mad sketchy in a lot of parts of Cleveland. So that's here. It's mad sketchy, right? So without, you know, I have certain things I ain't going to talk about on the, on the Sony walk, you know. But uh, to be real, I try to, if I'm going out somewhere, use the buddy system. So take somebody with you because if somebody's going, you know, do something, they're a whole lot less likely to do it if it's two of y'all or three of y'all. Uh, the other thing, when I do takes, I try to do short takes. So I get out there, boom, 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 and just, you know, put it back down. And that leads me to something else, man. You don't have to be perfect in your videos. And I know a lot of us, uh, me and you were talking about that on the way down here. Quality versus quantity. That's a big thing. Because I think as content creators, we think we got to put out something that's absolutely perfect. Everything got to be a bank. I'm not saying don't put quality and time into y'all work, but if you are like me, like I'm a perfectionist, I will sit there and re-edit and re-edit and re-edit and watch it back like, oh man, I forgot to, and I'll never get anything out. So you got to find a way to strike a balance between how do I get something that's, that's polished enough that I'm proud about versus like never putting a video out because I'm striving for perfection. And the other thing is when you upload a video online, all of the little aperture, you know, I didn't shoot this at the right shutter speed. Like people don't care about that stuff. We, we care about it. And I'm not saying don't try to do those things, but don't feel like if, like if you didn't get something perfect that you can't put it out. Um, my other tip when it comes to talking to the camera, I try to act like I'm talking to my audience. <clears throat> I try to always think about the person on the opposite side of the camera, not me. Forget me, forget the people looking at me. How are the people watching this gonna feel? You know, so I try to, I try to make, make it as engaging as possible when I'm talking to the camera so that they feel like they're actually, you know, connected with somebody. Good question though. So I make a uh, real estate video. They're like the content can be really dense. So like, how do you make that entertaining? So the first question is, that, why do you think it needs to be entertaining? I feel like there has to be something that, that keeps the interest a little bit more. So I feel like a personality. I disagree. Maybe I'm wrong. I disagree. I, and I'll tell you why. That's it. You want to speak on it? Because after you, when I'm searching for information, the entertainment takes up some of that info time. Okay. And I consider my time more valuable than the entertainment value that I would get from most videos that have information. 
no matter how dry the information is. Like the other day, uh, we got a, a water softener for the shower and I looked up a video on how to install this water softener into the shower head and the last thing I wanted was somebody to start off like, hey, what's up guys? All right, before I get to today's content, something really funny happened today and we're having a baby and we just moved in. Well, I don't care. Like, you know, show me where to screw the thing in and show me in hopefully less than 30 seconds and I'll watch the whole video. Yeah, I think the big thing is you gotta understand who your, your core audience is. Typically, if someone's searching for yes. something, they just want what they came to search for. So I, I wanna piggyback on that real quick and I'm gonna just shoot it straight. For every person that likes a personality like me, like a loud mouth that's on camera and in your face, there's somebody that doesn't like somebody like me. What, what I'm saying is there's an audience for everybody. So just because there's somebody else in the real estate space that's entertaining, doesn't mean you need to be entertaining because there's people that do like the calm, I just want the information. A valuable tip though is to cut out as much fluff as you can. So when you make videos, and y'all gonna learn is you don't need to sit there and introduce yourself. Oh, I'm this and that and I've been doing, man, people don't care. They want the information. So get right to it and find a creative way to introduce yourself throughout the video. I used to do that intro thing at the beginning of the video. And you will see on YouTube where literally as you're talking in the first 30 seconds or introducing yourself is showing off your house in the toilet. And, every, and nobody ever sees it. It ain't TV, man. TV, you're used to the payoff. There's a buildup, there's a payoff at the end of it. We live in a whole different time. People want the information right now. So whether it's a vlog, a lot of times with vlog, if you have any like memorable moments during the vlog that were funny or like that were exciting sometimes, throwing that at the beginning as a teaser and then doing the build up for the payoff at the end is a good strategy. But other than that, man, get right to the meat potatoes of y'all videos, that whether it's Instagram, the success is short form, depends a lot on how long somebody stays and how many times they rewatch it. We follow the script, we freestyle. So, so this is where everybody is different. <clears throat> and I'm gonna just speak for me. I can't script. I suck at it. I've tried it. I've tried to read off the whole teleprompter thing. And for me, it just don't work. I'm better off the top of the dome because I'm willing to accept that sometimes I make mistakes. And going off the top of the dome, sometimes I might misquote something or something like that. But I'm very transparent about that. And I'm, saying, I'm not saying that that approach works for everybody. There is nothing wrong with scripting, but I just don't do it because it doesn't it doesn't work for me. If scripting helps you out, then do it. The other thing, if I'm if I'm doing a gear review, like the 6700 review that I put up today, like it was so much information to talk about, I had to make bullet points. So that's something I will do, is I'll break you know get out the notes section on my phone and I'll just make key points that I make sure that I don't miss. And then when I'm out and about making my videos, boom, I know I need to talk about this, or boom, I know I need to talk about that. But uh, scripting doesn't really work for me. What about what to even make a video on? Like a good strategy is if you don't know how, look on YouTube or Instagram and other examples of stuff that you might want to, you know, that you can model after. Don't think because you did something that somebody else did that you're a copycat. Like YouTube, Instagram, social media is all a big copycat. All of my, I ain't gonna say all of them, a lot of my ideas, I'd be like, oh damn, that's a good idea. But I'm gonna remake it and make it my own. Everything on the internet has already been done, just recreated in your way. Um, but it also depends a lot on what niche you're in. If you're doing camera gear, I, can, I know I can always pick up a camera and make a video about something. Whether it's a tutorial, whether it's me just showing off photos, uh, but you know, that's, that's the niche I'm in. So you have to look at the niche you're trying to get into and kind of see what's out there. And this is gonna sound crazy. A lot of times when I'm about to make a video, this is what I do in my house. What's up, y'all? This is Terry, blah, blah, blah. I literally walk around my house practicing the video before I go out there. So that way, that way when I get on camera, I'm already you know, ready to talk about it. And my kids, my wife, everybody has, oh, uh, he about to make a video again, but <laughs> it works. I mean, for me, it works. I can't say for everybody else. Let's talk gear real quick. The best camera is the one you got. You don't need the latest and greatest, and I know I'm part of that problem, because Terry always reviewing the latest and greatest expensive stuff. You can't wait on new gear to inspire you to create content if this is what you want to do. New gear is dope. Once you understand the basics and the concepts, new gear will help you elevate but don't be scared to use what you have now. Again, we care about all the snobby stuff. We care about the shutter speeds and the white balance. 99% of people watching it are looking for it for the content. It don't care, it don't matter how pretty the content is. If it's trash content, it's trash content. What I'm saying is don't let your gear hold you back, right? Um, the second tip I wanted to give y'all, audio means more than video. People will watch 
a terrible video if the video quality is trash as long as they can hear it. But if, it, if the video is great and they can't hear it, think about what you would do. If you can't hear the video, what you do? You move right along to the next video. So audio, like these are good mics. If you've got a Sony camera, these ECM mics are real good. I swear by these or get you like a wireless mic system, like the Rhodes are real good. Um, but these make it simple. You just put it on there and, and they sound fantastic. And, so. and don't get it twisted. I've been making videos for years and I still get nervous when I press that record button. You know what I'm saying? I, I think it's just human nature, but you just gotta power through it at the end of the day. The last tip I have when it comes to creating vlogs is I know vlogs are all about story. Like everybody says you gotta have a story. You gotta have a purpose, but sometimes not having a story is the freaking story. So a lot of times I will let the day just develop how it develops and you know, everybody lives, whether you think your life is mundane or not, there's always little interesting things that you can pick out of it and put at the beginning of it and create a hook. So sometimes not having a story, just living life is what people want to see from you. They just want to see that you're a person. They just want to see that you're relatable and all that stuff. So stop caring so much. Um, you asked, how do you start? <clears throat> you just got to start, man. That's it. If you keep saying, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start, you're never gonna start. So just start. The first videos are probably gonna suck. They probably won't get any views. But I look at videos like, I'm just building up an archive, a, a library of, p of stuff where people finally get there. They could go back and watch every day, you know what I'm saying? So my biggest tip is to stop caring so much. <clears throat> if you care too much, you'll never create anything. Stop procrastinating. Get rid of the expectations on yourself. If you want to start creating, just start like everything else. You'll learn as you go. You'll get better as you go. But you got to start somewhere. Terry Warfield on YouTube and on Instagram is Terry underscore Warfield. Losing my voice now.